Hey YouTube, what is up? How is everybody doing today? I hope your days are going good and your lives are going even better. The thoughts. We are gonna be jumping into some Ethan Hema. I have no fucking idea how to say this band name properly. But we're jumping into the song known only as Snowblind. I reacted to the song once before, a long time ago, which has now been removed from YouTube, like a lot of my other videos of my wish and other things. But either way, we're going to jump into this as... Um, I know at least one of the people on my channel absolutely loves this band, and I think I gave them a bad review last time that I did them, but... Like, I listened to one other song by them, and they were kind of growing on me, to be fair, man. So I thought, you know what, let's just react, and let's go.
to that was Ethan Hema, or whoever the hell you say that band name. Um, the thing that really, really gets me with this band is the fact that it's not quite what I'm used to in Mellow Death, if you know what I mean. Like, it, it's Mellow Death, obviously, musically, but in so many ways, it's power metal. It's li lyrically, it's pure power metal. Um, there's a lot of power metal rhythms built into it, basically, so it's just very, very power metal esque. And I don't know, it's like, I've always said that like Mellow Death is like a heavier power metal, that's how I've always really described it because you just go from power metal, you just lower the bass, you just add faster drums, you add a, a growled vocal, and basically you stay the same and you have Mellow Death, right? That's how I've always so, so I know it doesn't quite work out that way when you think of it logically and practically, but that's just really how I've always seen it. That like it's just a bit darker than power metal so how power metal goes all across the fantasy aspects mellow death goes across the darker aspects like children of bodom do like norther do uh, like kalma do and like so many other mellow death bands actually do like some of like children of bodom's most famous songs are about killing people and about people dying and about lyrics about people like um washing their hands in the lake of their own blood and things like that which is like typical Bodem and typical mellow death like lyrically but this is pure power metal lyrics it's pure lyrically power metal which is kind of interesting and kind of just adds weight to my theory of like maybe maybe mellow death is literally just a heavier power metal and like this band is just showcasing that perfectly her voice i don't know why but ever since i listened to them on this headset and like the headset behind me and on my um, and Pamadak, like, her voice sounds very different now, it sounds like, you can you can hear all the way she's making the growl work, she's not doing it from a typical growling style, she growls from the very bottom of her diaphragm and then goes all the way up, and then tonalizes it as it's coming out, and it's a very impressive way to growl, it's very, very cool. Just like, the way, it's almost as if she's singing, but when she's growling, if you know what I mean, like, if you growl, if you've ever tried to growl in your life, you know that as you do it, getting the control right is very difficult. And being able to actually sing with it is a very impressive feat because, I don't know, she has so much melody to her growl that it just makes the whole song very, very interesting. Um, it, it was heavy, obviously, it was a very, like, heavy mellow death song, but, like, the actual, like, instrumentation was, like, all pure power metal in instrumentation. And it's just that epic blend and mix of power metal and mellow death and it just works really really well and this band's growing on me a lot i kind of want to hear more from them and see more of what they're doing and just like i don't know i'm just enjoying the whole blend of like i love genres that are mixed together but mixed together right and this is doing it in a very proper good way if that makes any kind of sense but yeah i think that's about all that i have lyrically did i did I even delve into lyrics or did i, or did I just describe how the lyrics are different. Lyrically, it's just pure fantasy. It's just about pure fantasy things. You have to go across the whole album and just like, it's like a whole story from start to end. So if I describe the lyrics here, it will, it will kind of not make sense because it's in the middle of a story. If that makes any kind of sense. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a wonderful day, evening or night. And I will catch you guys in the very next video. Until then, have an amazing day. Take it easy.